Hey guys, good morning. My name is Nelly aka Owl Tarot. I'm here to give you guys your uh, daily message from your ex. Let's see what your ex wants to communicate to you today. It's going to be a quick message. We're just going to tap into your ex's energy, see what's going on with them, what's in their mind today. What are they What, what are they thinking about? What are they wanting to communicate to you? What are their current thoughts and feelings in regards to the separation, okay? We're going to tap into the person's energy, the person that you would like communication with, reconciliation with, the person you're currently thinking about right now, okay? Like I said, it's a quick reading, guys. So it's going to be a quick tap into the energies. All right, guys, as you all know, all my readings are meant to be timeless general love readings, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does. Leave the rest behind. You all know time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you're meant to hear it. And let's see here. Don't. Uh, there's no gender in tarot, so please reverse the roles as need be, okay? All right, guys. If you would like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box below. I currently have a special going on right now. All right, guys, let's get started here. So I went ahead and I shuffled your cards and I've meditated. I've asked the universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what's coming to, uh, what's this person's current energy right now? What are they wanting to communicate to you? The first card I have here is the Ten of Waters in reverse. So this person is definitely thinking about this situation with you in regards to them leaving home. Um, the sadness that was left behind, um, the problems that were created due to the separation. If you guys have a family with this person or lived with this person, um, this person is thinking about how how they fucked up when they walked away, how they how their home is broken now because they're no longer part of this connection with you. With the five of air here in the reverse, um, this person is thinking about some way, shape, or form how to resolve the situation with you. Because they want harmony. They want to bring harmony back to the house. They want harmony back into the situation. They definitely want to be successful in this relationship with you, okay? I have the king of water here in the upright. The pers This person that we're thinking about here, you're, you're thinking about... Um, does have a lot of love for you, okay? This person wants to show you all the love that they have, but they feel because of the past situation with the Ten of Cups in the reverse that they might have fucked up that opportunity, but their love for you is still there. That hasn't gone anywhere. I have here the Ten of Air in the in the reverse, which is the Ten of uh, Swords in the reverse. This person wants a new start with you. They want to recover what this relationship used to be. They want to bring this relationship back to what it used to be. Not the past situation where you guys separated. If not, they, they want to be able to recover the situation. They want to be able to come back home, have a new start with you, okay? They want you to forgive them for their past mistakes because that's what they're going to be asking you for, forgiveness for their past mistakes. I have the full card here in the upright. This person is definitely going to want to communicate or will be communicating to that they want a new beginning here. They want another opportunity to be able to, to reconnect with you, to be able to work on this connection. They're going to take this leap of faith. Reason being because they're not sure if you're going to accept them. They're not sure if you're going to be okay with them coming back or even communicating with you. So this is this, they're going to take this blinded leap of faith here. In hopes and praying that you that you definitely um forgive them here or allow them to come back in because they want to work with this with the six of earth here with the six of coins they want to be able to give an equal give and take in this connection they want to be able to um to put in the the work as well they want to work with you to be able to to bring the happiness back home to bring the harmony the harmony back into the relationship okay with the two of air here which is the two of swords this person is very decide decided as to what he or she wants to do they're gonna communicate this to you because this is what they want moving forward they want to be they don't want to lose you is what i, I just heard i don't want to lose you again i don't want to lose you again so i don't know if you guys have been through this situation before with this person but they're very decided as to they're gonna want to come back home and they're gonna want to to work with you they're they're really with the magician here they're they're manifesting, okay? They're manifesting. They're hoping. They're praying. They're, they're praying that God to the angels, archangels, please, please, please let Pisces allow me back in. Or please, please, please let my person allow me back in. I really want to fix it. So this person is on their hands and knees, hoping, praying, wishing, okay, that you allow them to come back in because they don't want to give up on this connection with the nine of fire here. They don't want to give up. This person wants to work to bring this connection back, okay? Okay. With the four of fire here in the reverse, <clears throat> I'm sorry, no, in the upright, this person is not letting go of this connection. Except for um, 
they want they want harmony back home they want to come back home they want their happy spouse happy house okay they want to go back home they want harmony back home especially now that the holidays are coming through and life is so different from last year around this time everybody was up and around running around shopping and stuff and this year everybody's kind of like stuck at home and really can't do those things so this person wants to come back home they miss home they miss you they miss the family the cat the dog even their mother-in-law father-in-law I don't know why I had to say that, but they just miss being being home and being with you. With the page of air here, this person has gotten some clarity, okay? This came out of nowhere. I don't know what your person might have been doing, but this person got this clarity that I need to go back home. I need to fix this connection with my person. I can't continue doing this. I can't. I cannot not be around my family. I cannot be around this person that I love with all my heart. I need to go back home. And with the seven of fire here, this person knows that when they come home here, which is the seven of wands, you're going to be very defensive, okay? You might not accept their, their proposition in the beginning. You're going to be very defensive. You might not even accept them right away. You're going to allow them to come in little by little. You're not going to allow them like when they first, when, when they you guys were first together, they had full access to you, to the family, to the home. Not no more. Not no more. You're going to be very defensive. And you're going to be very careful what you're going to allow this person to bring or, or say or bring around you, okay? Because in the past, this person was being unjust. They, they weren't being truthful. They were lying, okay? This person was manipulating the situation, hiding things from you. <clears throat> um, I'm, I don't see a third-party situation here, but it could have been. But this person was just hiding things from you, and that, that, made you, that broke the trust between both you and this person, okay? With the Eight of Earth here, this person definitely wants to work with you. I'm bringing this connection back. This person doesn't want the old connection necessarily back. They want to be back home. They want the harmony and the connection. But they want this connection to be a new one. Like, I feel that this person, when they come in, this is their last and final chance. If they don't do this right this last time, it's done. There's no, there's no more coming back, okay? So they know that they have to come in here double double time and start working on this connection more because they're getting ready to lose you all together and this person is not not wanting that they like they don't want to lose you this person is weak is tired is sad is depressed they, without you okay they they don't have the energy the oomph that you used to give this person when you guys were still together you used to motivate this person every single day to be the best that they can be and without you they're not they're just they feel weak they feel like they don't have any any mission any any anything going on for them in the world without you okay with the queen of water here you you do have a lot of love for this person you still love this person except that this person hurt you Okay, they did hurt you. They hurt you. They put you in this situation where you can possibly think about having life without them. Okay, so this there is love here. You guys are soulmates because I have the king of uh, king of water and the queen of water here. This is a soulmate connection, guys. This is definitely a soulmate connection, and you guys love each other. Except that there's a lot of things that still need to be worked on. Okay, you and this person are really gonna be working together and juggling. Juggling this home life, this relationship, work life. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of equal give and take here between you and this person. But before that can even start, this conversation needs to be had here. This conversation definitely needs to be had here. Uh, let's see here. All right, one more card here, and then I have the five of air, which is the five of swords in the reverse. Um, this person wants to be fair with you. Okay, they're coming in, they're, they're gonna, they're going to accept what's gonna come out of your mouth, they're going to accept what you're gonna say because truth be told is going to be the truth. Okay, this person wants a fair chance, a fair fight to fight for this connection. They want you to, to give them that opportunity to prove themselves for the once, for the, for the final last time that they do want this connection, that this connection does mean everything to them. Okay. They're going to ask you for this fair opportunity, okay? But what's going to come out of your mouth? This person might not like it because you're going to speak the truth, but they're okay with it. They're, they're ready for it, okay? They're ready for you to speak your truth and for you to tell them whatever it is that you have to tell them, okay? But they want a fair chance, a fair opportunity to fight for this connection. Let's get some advice cards here from the Romance Angels so we can go ahead and close out your reading collective. What advice do you have here for my collective universe? You deserve love, and you are lovable, okay? 
So this person, I think that this person came to a realization that that they the way they were demonstrating their love to you wasn't fair to you. And you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to be treated like a king or a queen. And this person has come to this realization. At the bottom of the deck here, I have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You, this is your double confirmation here that this is your soulmate. And forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in, present, in your present moment, okay? Yep, you... It's ultimately at the end of the day, collective is going to be your choice if you're going to allow this person to come back in. But you're being asked to forgive and learn. Learn from this situation because whatever happened here, you've learned some lessons. This person has learned some lessons. And if you guys choose to want to continue moving forward in this connection, those lessons are going to serve you for this connection to be successful. If you choose not to move forward in this connection and you want to move forward in another relationship, those same lessons are going to help you. In that connection okay and forgive you just have to forgive forgive this person because at the end of the day we're human we all make mistakes i'm not condoning cheating i'm not condoning none of that but <clears throat> we are humans and we do make our we make mistakes as well all right one more final message here for the romance angels and we'll go ahead back with you now. one more message please universe what else does my collective need to know all righty express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so it is going to be safe for you to express love to this person okay again everything within divine timing whenever you whenever you choose or feel like this connection um is coming back around and whenever you allow this person back in it's going to be okay for you to express your love for this person because this person is in love with you they do love you and they recognize that they've made a lot of mistakes in this connection this is why they are coming back to heal this connection and to ask you for a fair chance to try to fix this all right guys i hope this resonates with you guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you want to book a personal reading the information is in the description box below and i'll see you guys tomorrow take care bye